We have new details on the 13 people arrested yesterday, the majority for breaching a security perimeter for the Democratic National Convention. This new fencing was put up early this morning. Police say to prevent that from happening again. Megan Hickey joins us live from Park 578 on the near west side. Megan, some people were arrested for battery against officers. Right, Joe and Erica, Superintendent Larry Snelling says approximately 10 people were arrested yesterday during that fence breach. He said some people used pepper spray against his officers, although his officers did not use theirs. We are within sight and sound of the United Center. He says they acted appropriately despite allegations to the contrary. Uh, no major injuries, but our officers did not overreact. The border wall! The official protest of about 3,500 people had moved away from Park 578 by just after 4.30 p.m. But a faction stayed behind. Our cameras were rolling as some broke through the fence at Washington Boulevard and Walcott Avenue. Snelling said there were no major injuries, but water bottles were thrown at officers and some people sprayed officers with pepper spray. The whole scene unfolded about two blocks from the United Center, where programming for the night was just about to start. I'm not going to tie that event and what happened with the breach with the entirety of uh, uh, the protest. Three people were arrested near this spot at 5.07 p.m., all for criminal trespass to state land. Then at 5.18, another person was arrested at this spot for aggravated battery to a police officer. In that case, court records show the 31-year-old allegedly threw, quote, an unknown liquid substance from a water bottle in an insulting and provoking nature at a police officer. At 546, five more people were arrested, all of them for criminal trespass. One of them was also arrested for resisting or obstructing a police officer. Then two minutes later, there were two more arrests here on Maypole for charges including disorderly conduct. CPD also tells us charges are pending against two others. The National Lawyers Guild called CPD's response yesterday aggressive and at times violent. The group also said two protesters needed to be hospitalized as a result of their arrests. Snelling said those hospitalizations were related to getting proper medication. It's not being assaulted by police officers. Those police officers responded perfectly and we've got body cam uh, uh, footage to prove it. Superintendent Snelling said the department would be releasing body camera video of the arrests if necessary, but when we asked the department for that video today, we were told we would have to go through the Freedom of Information Act process to obtain it. And we're aware of at least three complaints made to the Civilian Office of Police Accountability since the beginning of the DNC, all having to do with personnel violations. Live from Park 578, Megan Hickey, CBS News Chicago Investigators.